Hello there, Whipper here, and today I'm going to be showing you a mod called the Derpy Pig mod, and yep, this mod is definitely as weird as it sounds, it just basically adds a variety of pig related items into Minecraft, some of them have functions and some of them are completely useless, um, but yeah, they all have insanely weird names, as you'll probably notice as I go through these, and since they're going to be really hard to say names, I mean there's a lot of words in them, if I mess something up, just, just presume I'm going to mess things up. So the first one is a bunch of yummy pork chops, I don't know what's so yummy about them, um, maybe it just wants to state that they're yummy, um, just in case you didn't think they were, it's like saying nope, these are definitely yummy, and there's nothing you can do about it. But anyway, to craft a bunch of yummy pork chops, you're going to need 9 raw pork chops, so basically all it is is a stack of raw pork chops. So if you really want to craft that, you just put them on top of each other, and there you go, you've craft, craft yourself a bunch of yummy pork chops. Sadly, you can't actually consume this, it's just a visual item, and it's used in crafting recipes later on, but you can't eat it. I was hoping it might, like, restore all of your hunger bar in one go when you eat it, so if you're on really low hunger and you just want to restore your hunger bar as fast as possible, you could eat this, but sadly, nope, that's not the case. Has no use apart from other crafting recipes. But next up we have the Butter Porky Chop of Doom, and again with the random descriptive words in these names of items, I mean, why does it have to be of doom? What's so doomish about it? Now I'm inventing new words. Yep, doomish. We'll just go with that. Um, so to craft the Butter Porky Chop of Doom, trying to pronounce these, um, you just need a raw pork chop surrounded by gold, and there you go. If you really want this, and again, you can't actually eat this, it doesn't give you any special effects, you can't actually even eat it. So, the only purpose of this, again, is for other crafting recipes. So next up we have the block of pigness, which uses the bunch of yummy pork chops. And all this is, is a block made out of the bunch of yummy pork chops, so it's a solid block of pig, or bacon, or whatever you want to call it. Um, but next up we have the butter block of pigness, which is pretty similar to the other one. Um, but this is just crafted using the butter porky chop of doom. And it's basically a block of these. So yeah, and these are actually used in um, constructing a portal which sends you to the pig dimension. Yep, a pig dimension. That is definitely a thing. And you'll probably see that later and how insane that is. But yep, these are the blocks you're going to need to craft if you want to go there. But next up we've got the derpy pig tools because no mod is complete without tools. You definitely need new tools in Minecraft, there's definitely not enough already. Um, but anyway, to craft the derpy pig tools, it's the same as any normal tool crafting. You just have the normal amount of sticks, and then arrange like a pig-like shape with the block of pigness instead of the other resources you'd normally use. And this works with all the tools apart from the hoe. Sadly, you cannot make a derpy pig hoe, or a derpy hoe. Okay, that has so many innuendos, just ignore that. But that's pretty much what you can do with these tools. Um, the tools aren't very good, I mean they don't have the best durability. I think their durability is similar to wood tools, and also they have the same damage as wood tools, and you, they're not very useful really, are they? Um, but there's actually one redeeming feature of these tools. You can put them in a furnace, so there we go, I can put the sword in a furnace, and it will actually smelt into a cooked pork chop. So what you're technically eating, considering you used a stick to craft these tools, is a bit of pork mixed in with a load of wood. It's brilliant, isn't it? But there we go, so we've got some freshly cooked pig. It should say plus stick, because, yep, you're smelting the stick um, along with the pork, so you're going to be eating stick as well. Um, so hopefully that's nice and um, enjoyable for you with all that extra fibre. So yeah, those are the derpy pig tools, and hand in hand with that we've got the derpy pig armour. So in here you'll see that you just craft it in the normal way you'd craft armour, but instead of using the blocks of pigness like you did with the tools, this time you're going to be using the bunch of yummy pork chops. So there we go, you just arrange them like that, and then you can craft the armour. So now I think I may as well show you what they look like, so I'm just going to put them on, like that. And you can see I'm just covered in bacon, yeah! And then they're going to get loads of people coming along and trying to eat me. Uh, okay, another innuendo. It's like innuendo central today, it's brilliant! Um, but next up we've got the pig core reactor, which is actually part of a two-stage crafting recipe for something called the swine cannon, which is actually a really good item. So to craft the pig core reactor, you're gonna need four of those block of pigness, butter block of pignesses, I mean, and then a diamond in the center, and there you go, you get a pig core reactor. Now you can actually place this item down on the ground, and it looks like that, and it's got some kind of torch flame effect hidden inside of it, I don't know if that's a little bug, but yeah, it does have a particle effect, but this block is absolutely useless on its own, it does nothing in your world, so there's no real point in having it, so we're just gonna remove that. Um, but once you've crafted one of these pig core reactors, it enables you to craft something called a swine cannon, which is a hell of a lot more useful. So to craft this, you're just gonna need six bits of iron arranged like this, with a pig core reactor in the center, and there you go, you get yourself a swine cannon. And when I actually swapped this swine cannon, you might recognize the model from it, 
It reminds me of something from the Redstone Handguns mod, or a mod that Aichen has created. I think it's the Trail Mix mod or something, but it's one of those guns that Aichen's made the model for, and it fires things out of it. So yeah, it seems like Aichen gets into a lot of other people's mods, it's really weird that. Um, but to actually use this, you just right click, and it fires out pigs' heads which explode on contact with things. And because they make explosions, yep, you can do the good old TF2 jumping thing, where you just fire down and boom, yeah, get some lovely height on that thing. So you can rocket jump with this thing, and that's probably why I like it so much. Because you can do things like that and then combine it with hitting other things in the air, like firing it in the air and pushing it away. And there's also another cool trick, if you hold down right mouse button, you can just repetitively fly a fire like that. And just, whoa, that was a lot of height, did you see how much height that was? I must have got two of them exploding together. But yep, you can do things like that. And that's pretty much sums it up for the swine cannon, it actually does damage to mobs. So if I swap over to this one here. Um, and spawns a few pigs, so now we're going to kill pigs with their friends heads. I mean, that's definitely what you'd love to do, I mean, look at the destruction! I never knew pigs heads were so, such good projectiles. I might try that in real, oh no I won't, <laughs> try that in real life, that would be horrifying. Whoa, that pig took three shots, he must have had a lot of health, that pig, super pig, yeah. So now I'm going to show you how you can actually go to the pig dimension. So to actually get to the pig dimension you're going to need to make a pig portal, like this, um, or a derpy pig portal, and to craft the derpy pig portal you're just going to need to arrange the butter block of pigness in a normal portal shape like so. And then to ignite the portal you just need a block of pigness, an ordinary block of pigness, and then you put it anywhere in the portal frame and then it should ignite the portal. So you don't use a flint and steel, you use one of these blocks instead. And then you'll probably notice we've got a lovely portal here made of um, pig faces. And then we've got the usual nether sound effects, there's no actual special sound effects. I was hoping there'd be some like pig sound effects like oinks um, for the portal, but no, it's just the usual nether sound effects. And now we shall just jump into this portal, and off we go to the lovely pig dimension, yay! And oh, we're kind of underground. Oh, that's kind of not very good. I'll just dig up to the surface and come back when I've actually emerged to the surface. So, here we find ourselves in the awesome pig dimension, and just a few facts about this dimension. As you can see, it's very pink, the water's pink, the blocks are pink, even the pigs are pink. Actually no, pigs are normally pink, just ignore that. Um, but also, it's permanently sunrise I think that is, or maybe that's sunset, I'm not really sure which way is east or north or whatever. Um, but yep, yeah, you can see that the sun isn't moving, it just resets every few seconds back to its original location. So it's never going to be night time in this dimension. Um, but you do get things spawning all the time, and these are special pig dimension mobs. So I'm going to start off by showing you the mobs that this um, dimension has. So we've got the squid pig. So let's just go over to the water and spawn a squid pig. Actually, are there any in here already? Nope. Okay, you can't really see that. I'll just spawn one there and then fly out, and now you can see that it just looks like a normal squid, but it's not a normal squid, it actually makes sounds, and as you know, normal squids do not make sounds. This guy actually just makes a pig sound, so nothing too spectacular, and it's still pretty much useless, because it still drops the same thing, which is our ink sacks. So yeah, it's just a squid that makes pig sounds. I was hoping it'd have a new texture, like maybe a pink texture, to make it match the rest of this world, which seems very pink, but nope, just an ordinary blue squid. Uh, but the next mob is the flying pig. Now this is a really neat one, all it is is a pig that flies, and you can see it's kind of glowing, I don't know if that's an intentional feature, and it kind of like looks like it's walking upstairs, um, it's just a bit glitchy as it flies. But the neat thing about this, let me just get a saddle, is you can actually ride these flying pigs, so there, here we are, get a saddle, and then go up here and attempt to put it on the pig, and then right click, there we go, yeah, I'm riding a flying pig, and I've added some weight onto him and he seems to be sinking, well, I don't know if sinking is the right term for a flying pig, but you know, falling towards the ground, that's better. Um, but you can't actually control him, I've tried using a carrot on a stick and it just doesn't work. He just stays in the same place, can't really do much about that. He just has his own free will and I've got to respect that, but yeah, you can actually ride the flying pigs if you really wanted to. And sometimes you find collections of flying pigs way up in the atmosphere, uh, as you're flying around at the top of the world, where they've all just congregated at the top and reached their maximum height and they just form like pig clouds, it's a bit peculiar, and you might notice that if you download this mod and try it out yourself. Um, but the final mob that actually spawns in this dimension is the Pig Hunter, which pretty much looks like a half um, robot slash half pig kind of character, and this guy's sole purpose is to go and hunt pigs, so he'll chase after pigs and attack them. I don't think he actually attacks me, let me just try, try that, I'm just going to go into survival. Does he attack me? He doesn't seem to, he just seems to be more interested in the pigs. Um, and the pigs are just glitching everywhere as usual, and now he's just staring at the pigs. Are you going to kill some pigs? 
But let's take my... There we are, he's killed a pig. You can see he just goes around killing all the pigs. Is he going to attack me? Nope. I don't know, is he attacking me? Yeah, he does look like he's attacking me. Yeah, okay. This guy does attack me. Now we've established that, I can kill him. And he should... Okay, that's really laggy. Why is he not taking any hits? You can see all that blood coming out of him and he's not being damaged. So... Oh, there we are. I've, I've killed him. So he actually drops an assortment of things. He can drop a derpy pig sword, which I haven't actually shown here. But he can also drop his armour, which is the pig hunter helmet, and the pig hunter chest plate. And you can actually wear these and make yourself look like it's a pig hunter. So there we are, we can put on his helmet. And there we are, kind of half robot, half pig. And it's a bit peculiar. But that pretty much sums it up for all the mobs in this dimension. And the dimension as a whole itself. I mean, there's not too much to do here. Uh, it just has this new kind of stone. Let me see what it's called. Is it just normal stone or what? Uh, no, I don't know what it is. Oh yeah, I need to be in creative to do this. What have we got? Pigasite. Yeah, okay. There. Of course, naturally, everything's called pig in the name. So we've just got to call it Pigasite instead. So it's Pigasite, not just Pigstone. Pigasite. So if you want to come here and collect some Pigasite for your overworld and make some pink houses, you can do that. So anyway, thank you for watching. This is the Derpy Pig Mod, and I'll see you next mod video.